So every week that I'm in town, I end up on camera a lot. And whether it's uh, filming our podcast lessons from last time or being a guest on somebody else's podcast or filming content or doing a webinar, I'm on a lot of videos. And the cool part about that for me is that I get to ask people questions and learn from them and have conversations that make me actually better, smarter, faster, constantly. And what I want to do this week is just give you a couple things from this week that were just like, it just, they just sunk in for me. Uh, and really, this is mainly for loan originators and real estate people this week. You know, sometimes my, my messages are more general, but this one's just straight up for loan officers and real estate agents. You know, when people ask me, what, what goal should I set or how do I set goals? Like, how do I even know in this market? Like, you know, how do I set a goal that's realistic? And, and what people keep doing is they keep comparing themselves to 2021 and to 2020. And then they're like, look how far away I am from there. And yeah, you are like, if you're doing the same amount of production you were doing in 20 and 21, like you are the king or queen of this business. Like you own the world or you just didn't do that many loans back then. But most people are way off from 2021. And what that does is make you feel a little bit emotional. Like, oh gosh, maybe I'm not as good as I used to be when in actuality you kind of are. So what Dave Kammerer said in our webinar we did this week is he said, just compare yourself to 2019, which I think for 2024 is probably a pretty good way to do it. So if you're struggling to set goals, I would challenge you to look at your 2019 production and go, all right, well, I did X amount of loans in that, that year. That means I want to try to do that many loans in 2024 and just start there. Uh, there's a book that I'm reading called The Zen of Golf. Uh, and in the Zen of golf, they say, go into your, your uh, golf uh, scorecard and just cross off all the pars because you're not aiming for par if you're not a good golfer, right? I'm a bogey golfer. And so changing all the bogeys so that when you get a bogey, you actually feel good about that, right? So aim for something that's reasonable and realistic, not something that was, you know, fell out of the sky in 20 and 21. That's your best tip for this week is go back and pick your 2019 uh, production and then compare this year to that year. Let me give you one other thing that I think that you should probably do. Uh, get outside and get in front of people more. We have found that a lot of people have basically not been going outside, not been meeting with people, not been connecting with people. And what happens in real estate and mortgage is if you don't get out and meet with people and talk to people, like those are your people that are going to do business with you. And so you lose those opportunities. So get out and be in front of people as much as you can. Uh, one of my friends, Paula Nershall, in uh, actually here in Vancouver, Washington, um, Paula was one of the first out the gate when we could legally go back and hang out with people again. She was at all the real estate events. She was like in many as many things as she could get to. She went to those things. I ran into her at two fashion shows. And she's out there building her business because she knows that when she gets in front of people, it's just going to work. And so if you're one of those people who gets a lot of your business from just being out there, consciously make a decision to go out and be in front of more people, around more people, talking to more people. And whether that's like, uh, you know, a builder industry association meeting, a real estate industry association meeting, whatever it is, just get out there where you can be around people and really be yourself. That's a lot of, of times where the business comes from. So it's my encouragement for you for this week and uh, we'll see you next week.